put it in perspective, he's been as close as you can find to a one-man wrecking crew, and no doubt Mark Wise will touch it here. Nice job by Moore to break back to get the ball. Moore barreling in, double pump, missed it. Pretty good job by Dalcourt. Held his ground against the explosive Isaiah Moore. Chance to make it a two possession lead. If you're the raging Cajuns, folks who's had a great game. But he coughs it up. Under a minute to go, a chance to tie. Jones to the rack. Jones draws the foul. Best free throw shooter on the team will try and tie it at the line. Poor half court execution, poor spacing that time by Louisiana. Led to the turnover. And Jones just decided, I'm going to attack the rim. He really didn't have numbers or an angle. But the aggressive play is rewarded. Gets the friendly bounce on the first. If you're Louisiana, I know college coaches are, have been a little hesitant to put their arms around the two for one. But if you're Louisiana, I'm thinking two for one, even to close the game. Mm -hmm. Tyrell Jones started his career at Auburn. By way of Chicago, Illinois. Pitched the second one and missed it. One point lead. Cajuns with the basketball. Brown's got to get in touch. Let folks create. Folks bleeding clock. Shot clock under 10. Folks. Leaves it. Jumper is good for Dalcourt. Timeout with 27 seconds to go. Such a smart decision this time. It's going to be the guy who tries to give it to. Let's see if Dalcourt can keep more from getting it. Folks will hand it off to Moore. And shot clock off, three-point game. Where do they go? Here comes Moore, downhill. Moore all the way, draws the foul. Dalcourt says, hey, I kept my hands up. The officials say, still contact. Still getting a trip to the line, and that'll stop the clock with 17.1. Coming right at you. That's a body foul. There's no question about it. Moore gets to the free throw line. Really good coaching decision, I feel like. Attack. There wasn't any reason to shoot a rushed or hurried three. Moore, 11 for 14 now from the line. A career high. 32. If I'm South Alabama, I'm pressing and trapping in backcourt and fouling in frontcourt. The best free throw shooter on the floor for Louisiana just came in the game. Terrence Lewis, 84%. Come and meet all passes if you're Louisiana. Do not bounce past the ball inbound. The crouch, the sling, and the swish on the second. It's a one-point game. This is where Charles can run the baseline. Each team with one timeout remaining. Ball comes in. Oh, it's a trap in the corner. It'll be tough to get that out of there. Little bobble and a whistle. So loud in here, couldn't even hear the whistle. But Lewis got fouled. And I mentioned he's their best free throw shooter at 84 percent, a one and one upcoming. Sometimes the best plays are simple plays. There was all kinds of action going on the weak side, and Lewis just streaked up the sideline to get the inbounds pass. So good job by Bob Marlin and his staff getting the ball, as you called it, in the hands of your best three point uh, free throw shooter. 83 percent for the season. 84. Game seven double doubles on the year. He's been a terrific find from Jackson State. Silky smooth on that one. That's what 
your best free throw shooter should look like. Did that even hit iron? Not a bit. <laughs> Just tickled the twine ever so gently. Now, if he makes this one, I think things change for South Alabama. I don't think you have a time enough now for to go down and get a quick two. I think right. it has to be a three. Huge free throw. Perfect. Wow. Ice water going through that young man's veins. Terrence Lewis. Comes down to the final 12.8 with South Alabama in need of a three. It comes in to Isaiah Moore. Already a career night. Moore with six. There's White. White, deep three on the way. Rips out. Louisiana rebounds and then a foul with 1.4 remaining. Owen White had a good look. It was on line and just popped out. How did that ball not go in? Owen White, who has averaged 18 points a game in this tournament, shooting 50% from bonus land, had a great look. Yes, it was deep. But he lined it up, and I thought that ball went everything, did everything but go down. Watch again, the in and out nature. That's, that's from beyond 30 feet. I mean, that is a tough shot, but from our vantage point, it looked like it was going in. That might be the dagger right there. A four-point lead for the raging Cajuns of Louisiana. They took a five-hour bus ride to get here. They will gladly go wherever. The big dance takes them next. Final shot on the way. Raging Cajuns are going to the big dance.